deferred, deferred and deferred again. The pleas regarding irregularities in the national eligibility come entrance test for postgraduate NEET PG 2024 were listed for December 3, 2024, yet went unheard. This doesn't come as a surprise to anyone. Hello, I am Harsha Tala Pregada and you are watching Straight Up by edX Live. Despite multiple hearings, there has been no respite for the worried NEET PG 2024 candidates. Multiple pleas have been tacked together to be heard by the Supreme Court about the irregularities in the medical entrance exam. The Telangana High Court may conclude a hearing against GO 148 about the local quota issue today. As per GO 148, students who completed their schooling in other states, despite completing their NDBS degree in Telangana, are now considered ineligible for PG counselling within Telangana. Because of months-long legal battles, counselling has been on hold in states like Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Telangana. Whether it is irregularities in the normalisation process, discrepancies in the scorecard or the state quota issue, candidates are having a tough time with the counselling process. These long battles are not just draining the candidates but also add additional burdens such as financial and emotional strain. Overlapping deadlines of All India and state counselling quotas exacerbate the existing challenges and concerns. To speak on the matter, we have with us Dr. Rakesh Jain, founder of Meet Navigator and a medical education consultant. 2024 is actually proving to be a very zinc year for NEET. Whether it was UG or PG, as we can uh, see that this year uh, the admissions in medical colleges were really marred by the court cases. And uh, I think the delay which is happening on the NEET UG front is uh, very uh, unfortunate because as as on today, uh, the two major states, Rajasthan and uh, Madhya Pradesh, they are still not through with their round one allotments and definitely that will have a cascading effect on the overall schedule of admissions. And uh, if that schedule further gets postponed, then definitely uh, the academic session will be delayed and that will have an adverse effect on the academic delivery part as well. So I think uh, uh, government should take a note of it and uh, try to uh, fast track the entire uh, mechanism so that sooner the better for the students to start their studies. We leave you with that. Stay tuned to edX Live. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay safe and mask up.